Okay, so before my presentation, I want to do a quick survey. So how many have you guys um, taken out student loan to here? Or do you know someone? Okay. Um, today, I'm going to talk about student loan, but I'm lucky enough, my parents are supporting me to study abroad. So, um, but my plan today is student loan um, has a significant uh, negative effect on the general student population because um, first, student loan can um, negatively affect unqualified students who confuse the availability of support with uh, college readiness. And second, it can increase the tuition rate for our general student. And the third is negatively affect the value of a college degree. So CCC Apply is an um, organization from the California Community College Chancellor's Office reports that California Community College are required to admit any California resident uh, possessing a high school diploma or equivalent. And yet, Emily Hanford of AMP reports writes that uh, more than 4 in 10 college students end up in developmental math and English class at an annual cost of approximately $7 billion. And many of them have a worse chance of eventually graduating uh, than if they went straight into uh, college level classes. And a low income student also are more likely to be assigned to developmental classes. So according to these two sources, we can conclude that we are in a culture of uh, encouraging everyone to go to college, but, um, uh, and student loans enable us to go to college, but um, it doesn't tie to the uh, performance um, of academic uh, knowledge. So student loan may affect unqualified students by wasting their time and money. And second, access to student loan increased the demand of college, which can cost the um, institution tuition. Former Secretary of Education, William J. Bennett has theorized that the availability of a large amount of federal money drives up the um, tuition and in the long run makes it more difficult for poor students to go. So more you subsidize it, the more you get of it. So according to Bennett's theory, uh, as demand increases, he encouraged the college to uh, also increase the tuition because it's more convenient for them to just uh, think students can, can take out more loans instead of firing all the professors. <laughs> okay, third, um, loan can increase students who achieve certain degree which uh, lower the value of the, of the degree in the job market. So in 2012, economists report that another issue is that salary gap between this with uh, only high school diploma and those with university degree is created by a plumbing value of the diploma rather than by soaring graduate salaries. And after adjust for inflation, graduates, graduate students earn no more than in 2007 than in 1979. So uh, we can use like uh, buying an iPhone as an example. Um, so let's say, uh, no offense to Android users. <laughs> so let's say I set up a cam outside of the Apple store and I wait for five days to get the latest, coolest iPhone. And then I just wanna, after I get that, I just wanna show it to people, rub it on people's face. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> but, um, after uh, several months, a lot of people just get the latest one and then it's not special anymore. So you have no one to show it to and then it's just common because everyone have an iPhone. So. so it is good that people can get their education through student loan, but more people access to it, the more the degree will uh, devalue. So in conclusion, student loans uh, have negative effects on general students because it can waste uh, unqualified students' time and money. It increases the tuition, and it also devalues um, a college degree. Thank you.
All right. Well, I thought you had a good review at the end of the speech and uh, went along with a pretty solid preview of what the structure was going to be. So I don't think anybody's going to get lost at any of the individual points in the speech, except for the first point, which I thought was a little bit odd that you kind of cite that point after you've given Hall the explanation and then right before you get to your second point. It's almost like the justification for the first point is given before the claim is given. And that, that felt a little bit awkward. Other than that, though, I thought it was reasonably well organized and easy to follow. Uh, the supporting information, I think, is a little bit problematic. You have a good quote from the CCC, apply. You've got uh, the quote from Bennett that kind of explains the theory there. There's a reference to some uh, economists in 2012, although that is not very well explained or cited. And this is where I think is some of the problems happen. Um, there's not enough information supporting some of the theories that you present. Like the, Bennett's got a good theory here, and he's an authority that that you cite who explains the theory, but we have no data other than what he said to support this. Um, as, as for example, as, uh, as student loans have become more available, where's the information that shows more people apply to the colleges that they can't really afford or the ones that are uh, helping them get the loans? Uh, you know, if, if, if that's the case, I would think there would be more demand. You talk about how it results in increased um, tuition costs, that the colleges basically then just uh, jack up the cost to, you know, to kind of keep the value high, but I don't see any examples of that and no illustrations that show that. There's no statistical data to support this. There's just the theory. We don't even have somebody who is, you know, Bennett doesn't even point to any concrete data on this. It's just his uh, concept about how this works, and I think that that's a little bit problematic. Uh, the same thing is kind of true on your third point where you're talking about what the value of a college degree is going to be. You explain the concept with a nice analogy to the iPhone, uh, but outside of that uh, we don't see much proof on this. There, for example, uh, whether or not uh, college, college graduates are earning less with their diplomas than they did 15 years ago or 20 years ago when people with college degrees were um, less uh, prevalent and less uh, frequently encountered. That would be some data that I think would support that point. Uh, like I said, I think that the problem here is that you do a, a good job explaining the concept, uh, but not necessarily following up on the theory as much. Some of the evidence that you present is pretty good, but it mostly, you know, like I said, explains the theory without proving the theory. All right, thank you.